Welcome back to Storytime with Bambi. I haven't read a book for a while, so I'm excited to read a new one called Hands Are Not For Hitting. And it's written by Martina Gusti and illustrated by Marika Heinlein. Hands come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. There are lots of things your hands are meant to do. Hands are for saying hello. And if you look over here, we have all different colors. We have brown and dark brown and tan and white. We even have a bird or a bird and a dog. And over here, it's people waving hello to you in different languages. In English, we say, glad to see you. In Spanish, we say, coma esta. I think Guten Tag might be German. Dumbo and bonjour. Look, this one even has a little bandage on his hand. Hands are for greeting and communicating. There are many friendly ways you can use your hands to communicate. You can shake hands. Try it now. Shake hands with the person next to you. You can wave to a friend. You can draw pictures or write words. I can tell a story with my hands. This little boy is telling a story using his hands. This little girl's drawing. There's all sorts of things that we can do with our hands. There's something that hands are not for. Hands are not for hitting. Hitting isn't friendly. Hitting hurts. How does it feel when someone hits? It hurts a person's body. It hurts a person's feelings too. It makes people sad. I know when I get hit, I get sad. So here this little boy is saying, I'm sorry. Why do people hit? Sometimes they feel sad. So sometimes people feel like they need to hit when they feel sad. Like Peter is thinking to himself, Peter never plays with me, so he's sad. And this little girl is jealous and she's thinking to herself, I want that toy. You think hitting is gonna make it better? And this little girl's scared, and so she's like thinking, here comes that kid who teases me. And sometimes when you're scared, you feel like hitting. And when you're angry, sometimes you feel like hitting. This little boy's thinking, I don't like it when my sister takes my things. So he's angry. Do we hit when we're sad, jealous, scared, or angry? No. Sometimes people want to be the boss of someone. Have you felt these ways? Maybe you wanted to hit someone, but hands are not for hitting. Even if you want to hit, you have to stop yourself. There are other ways to let your feelings out. Can you think of more ways to let your feelings out? Hmm. So this person's using music. This one is drawing a picture or writing a letter and this one is just listening to music and you can also use words we can use our words or when you're angry look at this little girl she's hugging her pillow and this little guy is exercising when he gets angry he goes and exercises but and more, most importantly using our words to tell how we feel works really well after a while, you'll feel better. When that happens, you and your hands can play again. Hands are for all kinds of playing. How do you use your hands to play? These kids are doing a puppet show with their hands. This little guy is clapping his hands. This one's making a shadow with her fingers. This little guy is blowing bubbles with his hands. And this little girl is playing in the sand. You do that sometimes, don't you? 
And this little guy is just making funny faces with his hands. Hands are for learning, for counting, tying, painting, and asking questions. This little boy's raising his hand because he has a question. Hands are for making music, for snapping, clapping, or tapping out a beat. Can you clap a beat? Can you clap a beat like this? Can you do it? Maybe you can come up with a beat and the person with you can do a beat with you. That's a good thing to do when you're wanting to hit someone. You could maybe clap your hands to a beat. Hands are for working together. They're working together to build a sandcastle. And you're so lucky that you have two hands, not all kids have two hands. Hands are for playing, learning, doing, and building. Hands are not for hitting. Hitting is never okay. So what you can do when you and your friend don't get along, what can you do? What can you do if you're not getting along with someone? If you're mad, angry, or scared, you can try to solve the problem together. You can talk about it, and you can listen. So they were having troubles, but they talked about it, and, and the little boy says, we can build it back up again. And the little girl says, okay. So you can try to understand how your friends feel. Your friend can try to understand how you feel. And you can think of ways to make things right. So when you're angry, think about what you should do. What if your friend yells, kicks, pushes, or hits? You don't have to fight back. You can walk away. You can find something else to do or someone else to play with or an older person you, who can help. Have you noticed that when you hit someone, they don't want to play with you? I know when Bambi gets hit, she, she doesn't want to play with that person, so she will go to another room and not play with them anymore. So if that happens, you can talk to your mom or your dad or your, even Piper. You could even talk to Piper. You can tell your friend, hands are not for hitting. Hands are for keeping safe. Think of all the ways your hands can keep you safe. Oh, look, this little guy is buckling up. Your hands can buckle up, can't they? And this little girl is holding her mom's hand to cross the road. That keeps her safe. And this little boy is keeping his hands on the steering wheel of his bike to keep control of it. Hands are for helping. There are many ways you can use your hands to be a helper. I know that sometimes it's really helpful to get diapers for your mom or to help pick up toys like this little girl or help feed the animals like help feed your dog. This little boy's feeding your hamster. He's feeding his hamster. This little boy's helping put books away. And these kids are helping sweep with their hands. How do you make yourself handy? Like I said, I think lots of times you get diapers. You help pick up dog poop. You can help get water for your mom. All sorts of things with your hands. Hands are for taking care of you. They're for putting on pajamas, washing your face, combing your hair, brushing your teeth, and turning out the light at bedtime. What do you do to take care of you? When your light turns red and the music turns on, what do you do? You brush your teeth, you say your prayers, you give your mom and dad a hug, there's so many things you can do. Hands are for helping. Hands are for caring. Hands are for keeping you healthy and safe. 
Hands are not for hitting. Hitting hurts. Hitting is never okay. It's not okay for grown-ups to hit either. Hitting isn't safe. Hands are for being kind and showing love. Go ahead, high-five the person next to you. Hands are fang. Hands are for saying all sorts of things like, See you later. Bye. Adios. Sayonara. Sayonara. Goodbye. Adio. Take care. So long. I love you. I hope you know that it's never okay to hit. But if you happen to do it, you can still say sorry and try better the next time. I love you.